first of all I'm going to lay out the disturbs using the drafting lines. If I go to the annotate tab, the detail panel, and click on the detail align button, select start and radius arc command, pick the first point, and let's say I'm going to go southwest at a 135 degrees and at a distance of 3300 millimeters. Press enter. Now I'm going to move my mouse cursor to the right until it's nice. Pick it. Go back to the draw panel. Select pick lines button. Type 600 millimeters in the offset box section. Press enter. Offset it to the left and to the right. Go back to the draw panel and select line command. Set offset to zero. Press enter and connect the bottom and top. Press escape a couple of times. If I selected the top arc, go to the properties dialog, tick center mark visible, press escape a couple of times, select the bottom line, go to the modify panel, select the array command, make sure I am in the radial array command, Make sure group and associate is ticked. Let's say I need 18 items. Choose move to last option. Click on the place button. Pick the center mark of the top arc. Select the bottom line. Select the top line. Press enter. Press escape a couple of times. The guidelines are ready and I'm prepared to sketch my stress boundary. If I go to the architecture tab, circulation panel, click on the disturb button. In the properties dialog, I'm gonna leave base level as level 1 and top level as level 2. If I click on the create sketch button, select pick lines command, pick the top arc and the bottom arc. Click on the riser button again, pick lines command and pick every single line I have arrayed previously. Click on the stair path button again, pick lines command and pick the sensor line of the staircase and finally click on the finish edit mode button press escape a couple of times press z a to zoom all and if i change the view to realistic in my 3d view here we go now that i'm out of the sketch mode i'm gonna click on the finish edit mode button and I'm gonna get a message saying that stair top and cannot reach the top elevation of the stair. It's because I have not calculated precisely how many risers I need to reach the level 2 because this is just an example to show you basic principles.